Hi, in this video I'm going to show you various ways to customize the ribbon in Word so it works better for you. You can personalize your ribbon to arrange the tabs and commands in the order you want them. You can also add additional commands and tabs to your ribbon, and I'll walk you through those processes. I'll also walk you through quickly how to hide and unhide your ribbon. Now before we get started on this, just an FYI, there are certain things that you cannot customize within the ribbon. You can't reduce the size of the ribbon or the size of the text or icons on the ribbon. The only way that you can do this is to change your display resolution, which would also then change the size of everything on your page. And also, when we're going into making customizations to your Word ribbon, it is only making the customizations within Word. These customizations will not follow through to Excel or PowerPoint or any other programs. If you want to customize them, you need to go into those programs and make the customizations there as well. Now you'll notice I'm on my home ribbon, and if we go all the way over to the right, you'll see I set up a go-to section. And within here, I added all my go-to commands. This way, while I'm on my home ribbon, I can quickly navigate through my document. This is one of the features that I'm going to show you how to do. To make the customizations, we need to get into the Customize the Ribbon window. And how I do it is I come up here to my Quick Access Toolbar and I click my drop-down button, go to More Commands, and then what I'm going to do over here in the left column is I'm going to click Customize Ribbon. This will take me in so I can see all of my um, ribbons and all of the commands available. Now, if you want to change the order of the ribbons, if there's certain ribbons you use more often and other ones you don't, you can come over here, just like when you're customizing your Quick Access Toolbar, come over here to the Customize the Ribbon column, click on the ribbon you want to move, and use the up and down arrows. So if I want to make it before my layout, I can do that. Once I click OK, you can see now it has moved it. If you want to add a custom tab to it, we'll go back in, again up to the Quick Access Toolbar, click the drop down, more commands, customize ribbon, and then we'll come all the way over to the Customize the Ribbon column, go to the bottom and click New Tab. You can see this adds a new tab. I'm going to click on the New Tab because I don't want it to be called New Tab. When I do that, I'm going to come back down and click the Rename button, and it'll allow me to rename it. Just for these purposes, I'm going to call it My Tab. Click OK. Now I can come in and I can add groups to it. Okay, and just remember the groups, for instance, on the Home tab are the clipboard, font, paragraph, styles, and so forth. So I'm going to rename the new group. I'm just going to call this new group Chart. Once I have my new group, make sure you've got it highlighted, and now I can come over and I can add features to it. Now when I come over to the middle column to add features, it's going to start with the popular commands. I click the drop down, I can go through and I can look at all commands, commands not in the ribbons, and so forth. So I'm going to tell it to do all commands. Instead of scrolling through it, if I click within the list and, and type the first letter of the command I want, it'll take me down to that area and then I can start scrolling through it. So I'm going to add my chart elements and add a chart. Go ahead and click OK to save this. And now you can see my tab is here with some of my chart information. If I want to come in here and move it, click the drop down again, more commands, custom ribbon, and let's move this all the way down. Say OK. And now it's moved my tab. If you want to add customizations to a current tab, We'll go ahead and go back in, customize, more commands, customize ribbon, and then we're going to choose the ribbon we want to add the commands to. Say I want to add something to my references tab. I'm going to go ahead and expand it out, and you cannot come in and just add a command directly here. If we try to, it's going to give us an error message that we need to have a custom group for it. So we're going to go ahead and tell it okay. 
I'm going to create a new group within here. I'm going to rename it. I've added my go to. I'm going to say OK. And you'll notice when we're adding customizations, it puts custom in the parentheses so we know that this is what we've added to it. OK. So now at this point, I can add my customization features to this group. So I'm going to come back over here to the middle column and tell it all commands, click within it, and hit G to get down to my go to group. Now, because this is about my references, I want to have go to EndNote, go to Footnote, and then let's just go ahead and add our go to button as well, just in case we want to go somewhere else. Say OK. Now, if I come over to my references, you can see it added my go to information. So now, when I'm working within my document, I can quickly get to these areas without having to come over here and click the information. Quick buttons I get to. Make whatever customizations you want to do. Okay? Now, if you've added customizations you no longer need, again, we'll come into our customization, click the drop down in the quick access toolbar, more commands, customize ribbon, and from here, we can tell it to reset. We can reset the selected ribbon we're on, so references. Another option is to just come out here and remove it. Say OK. And it's gone from the references. So if you want to make customizations to your tabs and ribbons, remember it's just like working on your quick access toolbar. You're going to come up here to the drop down button, go to more commands and click Customize Ribbon. We can come over and select the ribbon we want to customize, or we can tell it we want to do a new tab. Within there, we can set up new groups, and we can also add our features to it. If we want to move things around, for instance, move our tabs around, we can come in here, click on the tab, and tell it to move it. Once we're done, click the OK button, and it updates those changes to our tabs and ribbons. So if I want to get rid of my tab, I can come up here to my customizations, or commands, customize ribbon, my tab, remove. As a warning, if I come down here and say, oh, let's go ahead and reset everything. When I click the drop down and do reset all customizations, it's going to tell me it's going to delete all ribbon and quick access toolbar customizations for this program. We don't want to touch our quick access toolbar customizations, so we'll tell it no. Say OK. A couple other things to keep in mind when you're working with your um, tabs and ribbons. If we come up to the upper right corner, we've got this box with the up arrow. When we click on this, it gives us the options to auto hide the ribbon, show just the tabs, and show all commands and tabs. If we click auto hide, it gives us more um, real estate on our page if we're doing some editing, but then we can come back up here and pull up the tabs and ribbons. We can also have it just show the tabs if we prefer to do that. And then when we click on a tab, it will bring down the ribbon associated with it. Okay, remember that's up here. If you wanted to always show everything, show tabs and commands and it'll bring it back up. If you like this and my other videos, please go ahead and click the like button and also subscribe to my page. If you have any questions or have any suggestions for items that you would like me to go over, please add those to the comments. Thank you.